Uh, this is Michael and we're starting the Nautilus build. And so the first thing I wanted to go through is the design phase. So what we got inspiration from is we saw this amazing photograph online of the Nautilus and it was beautiful. And we're like, okay, great. This seems like something wonderful to create. The interesting thing about a Nautilus, the shell's made by the creature, but he uses a special Fibonacci sequence, which basically is called this perfect spiral. So using the Fibonacci sequence, we're able to create this amazing creature. And so what I wanted to do when I created my Nautilus was to be able to create a Nautilus that was actually close to the scale. It's, it's really hard to get perfect with the Fibonacci sequence because it's really a lot of math. Uh, and not that I don't mind doing math, but, but there was enough math involved in trying to create this guy anyway and trying to get him to scale. And so I thought, well, let's just, you know, we'll use it as it is. So I'm going to be screenshotting on my uh, uh, computer here and I'm going to turn it on. So we started with the picture of the Nautilus. And then once we created that Nautilus, we put a Fibonacci overlay. You can see this beautiful spiral shape that is the creature that is part of the uh, Fibonacci sequence that comes from the shell of the chambered Nautilus. So they call it chamberness. You see these little chambers here. Each time the Nautilus grows, it creates a new chamber. This Each chamber is exponentially larger than the one next to it. And that creates this perfect spiral, which coordinates with this Fibonacci number sequence. So once we started our creature, we realized we needed an overlay. So here is the overlay that you can see, and we put it on top of our Nautilus photograph. So once we've got our starting with the Nautilus, I realized that we needed a little bit more shape. So we have four quarters, uh, and not just four quarters, we start with well, actually one, two, three, four, five, six quarters. So now I think our Nautilus is gonna end up being seven, because despite the fact you can't see it, I still want that last little arc in there. Um, I had an idea of leaving the, being able to take the creature out and just having the shell. I don't know why, I mean, it's just interesting. But I think I'm probably gonna just leave them there. It might be too complicated to be able to take that out. So the first thing that I did <clears throat> was draw additional lines and I'm gonna just pop those in. So we've got these additional lines and if you notice in each quarter I'm drawing a new line in to split it into eighths. And the eighths just give me another number and another way to measure. I got this guy here and then finally the last one which is this one here. This is our key one because that's our total length on everything. Then we had to figure out this angle right here. So using Photoshop, we figured out the angle was 60 degrees and we'll just drop that in. stuff. So the first thing I did was went through and numbered and you could see as I go through and number each and every one, uh, we labeled. The Nautilus only gets to be about eight inches and ours is currently looking at three feet or so, maybe depending on it. Again, one of the interesting things is we're working in Photoshop, which is two dimensional, but guess what? Our guy's three dimensional. So we also have to add about two to four inches for the size, uh, the sides. The next measurement that was very important was trying to get the length. So we're gonna start with the length of the shortest one right here. So that's this length right here, which we ended up being about saying 6.4 inches. 6.4 inches is only the radius and it also doesn't account for the width. Remember, our creature has a different shape, and uh, I'm gonna try to find, oh, there it is. So we've got a side view here of our Nautilus, and there he is. So see how he's wide? So we're not accounting for this. Remember, this is three dimensions, so we gotta account both for our, um, our three and our two dimensions. So we're gonna go back to our Nautilus shape, and again, so we got 6.4 inches, remember, uh, and this is just the radius. And so uh, then we continue to measure. Remember, we're measuring on eights. So then we got 7.58 to the next measurement mark, 8.61, 9.70. Notice how it's exponentially rising. So you can hear it growing. Uh, you know, each shape is slightly larger than the next. And this is part of that Fibonacci math sequence. 14.7, 18.68, 18.7, and lastly, 22.9. Remember, this is the radius. This is only distance from here to here. So you have 22 plus another 12. This guy's gonna be a monster. And I didn't really realize, but that's almost 34, 35 inches, 36 inches just across the shell. So I need this little width. It just tells me what the arc is. And, and I, my idea was, well, maybe I'll cut the metal that wide and then 
pound it into the curve and be able to make that. And we're gonna show you what happens with that in future videos because not everything you do the first time is successful. Some things are good, some things are not. So again, we're gonna to go to the next measurement, 6.51 wide. Um, and again, I won't bore you with the numbers, but again, you can see that they're growing exponentially as we go through our guy. And right now we're here, 11.6, 12.1, 13.8, and again, growing exponentially, and finally 20.3. So we've got from this distance to here to here is 20 inches. We've got 20 inches wide by 22. This is a 40 inch piece of metal. And remember, you forgot we gotta have width. And based on our width right here, as this guy gets monstrous, this width here becomes six to 10 inches. So again, we're using quite a bit of metal on our Nautilus. So pretty much this ends our design phase, so uh, you'll be able to see what happened, but I just wanted to show everyone what we were working with. And remember, lots of calculations, lots of uh, measurements on here to try to be able to get our Nautilus as close to accurate as possible. You know, we're, we're really trying not to be too OCD on that, but we wanted to be able to make a beautiful Nautilus that has uh, uh, great styles.